Now, the next thing that you're going to do is to install WordPress. And to install WordPress, one, uh, for you to be able to use WordPress, you need a domain name and you'll also need a web hosting. You can get all those from uh, the company called Eco Web Hosting. This is the company that I use. Uh, it's a UK based company, web hosting company. You can buy domains here from .com.co.uk.go.org.info, all those domain name extensions that you can think of. And their web hosting packages range from £3.49 all the way to £23.99 for a reseller hosting package. So if you want, if you're just getting started, you need like a web hosting package that is uh, you know just hosting one 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 website or three websites something like that and once you've bought the web hosting package and you've also bought the domain name you can buy the domain name right from here or you can buy from other sites like godaddy or namecheap or any other place and then after buying if you've bought the domain name from a different uh, registrar other than them you would have to connect it to the web hosting package through the name servers eco web hosting will give you their name servers there are four of them and you use those name servers you enter those name servers into your uh, domain registrar's account the one that you were provided by now uh, by uh, the, the registrar so once you've done the connection properly and the dns has propagated well you can now go on and log in using my eco you click here and then you log in and then you go to manage hosting where you will end up to a panel or a control panel that looks like this this is not the common c panel they use what we call the stack cp Stack CP is a bit more powerful as compared to the uh, to the to the to the C panel, and the first part is just the CDN, uh, the web files, the email here is where you create your email accounts and that, uh, the web tools that is where you get to know where the is that the database is, how to change the PHP version, you know things like that. And then there is also the domains and uh, the domain names. That is where you get to set or manage the DNS and also to create and manage your subdomains. There is the security where you get to activate the SSL. Uh, this is very important. The very first time you will be using your account, you will have to go to this section here and click on SSL. And then you activate the free SSL. That is one of the things that come with the hosting package that you shall have bought from eco web hosting you get a free ssl certificate you you will not have to buy it from somewhere else and then uh, now when it comes to installing wordpress wordpress is provided here under the one click installs there are 91 of them so just scroll down till where you see the wordpress logo that is here click on it and on this package, there is already um, a website on the main domain. So it means that for me to install a new, uh, a new uh, WordPress, I would have to do it on a subdomain or on a subdirectory. But I want to do it on a subdomain. I had already created a subdomain. So installing WordPress, I will not install it here because there's a WordPress website already existing here. So I'll click on this drop down arrow and then look for wp0101 this one dot dvbanksparks.com click on that and then i want it to be on the root on the on the main directory so i will not add anything here and then click on install wordpress so what's going to install is the latest version of wordpress at the time of installation for example the latest version of wordpress right now is 6.2.1 that is at this time maybe when you'll be watching this course or uh, watching this video the version may be different so don't worry it's because eco web hosting will be providing you with the latest version of wordpress now once that is done 
or the install is successful, you now can now click on the first one. They provide you with two links. This is for the staging. You can use this to create your website and then once you're done, you transfer everything into the main one. But I want us to work from the main one directly. So we click on the first one. And then you will be taken to a screen that looks like this where you will have to choose your language. In this case, I'll go with English, the United States, and then click continue. And then my title, I will call it the WP 101. Let me use this WP 101. FN. WordPress rules. Then the username, something that I will not forget. WP101. Then the password, I'll just use something, you know, a bit strong. Medium. The email, I can use this one yeah and then for now i want to discourage the search engines if you discourage search engines from indexing then it means that uh, this website will not be visible uh, to the search engines but i want it to start indexing immediately so i'll just leave this the way it is and then click install wordpress so that gives us i will save this that gives us the login credentials or uh, the ones that we'll be using to log into our wordpress website so that's how it's done and that's how you will be able to install wordpress into your web hosting package